Hey everybody, today's topic of discussion will be a little short and sweet and will allow us to, you know, maybe get this done a little quicker. So without me belaboring it too much, let me get into the plugs. First up, we have the UFD Tech Podcast. If you guys want to listen to all of the videos that we put out, but you don't have time to sit down and watch, you can listen to them in audio format and through a variety of different podcast sites. The links will be in the video description for you to check that out. You can check us out on the various podcast sites, as I mentioned. Be sure to leave a rating on those sites so that we can get promoted and that if you want to walk the dog while paying attention to whatever I'm, it is I'm talking about, you can do that there. Secondly, we also have the UFD Deals channel where I go over daily tech deals that might save you a little bit of money. Again, links in the video description if you want to subscribe to that or in the top right hand corner. But without further ado, let's jump into the actual source meat of the material, which is alleged Intel Core i7 8086K, 8086K, 40th anniversary processor leaked and benchmarked. We've got six cores, 12 threads, 4 gigahertz base, 5.1 gigahertz boost, and a 95 watt TDP. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, the 8086 processor from Intel was basically what put them on the map in terms of microprocessors. They blew their competition out of the water with the 8086. It is foundational in Intel's success as a company. So it's coming up to the 40th anniversary of that CPU, and so they're gonna be marking it with a launch of a new Coffee Lake SKU, the i7-8086K, which makes sense because Coffee Lake is the eighth generation. 40th anniversary lines up with that, so it can be 8086, and even though it's lower than 8700K, it appears to be a little bit faster with a four gigahertz base and a 5.1 gigahertz boost, which we haven't seen on any of Intel's other CPUs. They haven't gone up to five gigahertz, so this one is absolutely phenomenal. Intel also had another anniversary edition uh, CPU, if in case you remember. It was the Pentium G3258, which marks the 20th anniversary of the Pentium processor, so we're getting the 40th anniversary of the 8086 processor. So we're basically getting a normal Core i7. This isn't going to be the rumored to be upcoming eight core Coffee Lake chip. This has nothing to do with that. This is basically the 8700K with faster speeds and a lower SKU number. So it's gonna be, yeah, 8080, like you're, you're losing, how much are you losing? You're losing 614. On the, on the SKU number. Anyways, six cores, 12 threads, 12 megabytes of L3 cache. Exactly the same there. 95 watts, exactly the same. The clock speeds are going to be much higher. The 5.1 gigahertz boost clock is a single core boost clock, and all core boost is ready for 4.4 gigahertz, but mostly stable at 4.3 unless provided proper cooling, which is pretty significant. It also comes with the UHD 630 integrated graphics. So that means that this system has a 300 megahertz overclock on the core on the base clock going from 3.7 to 4, and then it also has a 400 megahertz increase on the single core boost clock going from 4.7 to 5.1. So the temperatures, we have some benchmarks. There are temperatures showing around 70C under the T400i air cooler from Cooler Master, and when all cores are overclocked to 5 gigahertz, temperatures 95C and nearly 100C after that. So you need, you need proper cooling to actually overclock this, but this is basically like the 8700K. I would suspect that if you delit it, replace the thermal interface material, you get a much cooler CPU. So during the testing, they were using the Z370 Tomahawk from NSI, and they were getting inconsistent performance results. None a ton of information there. That was a really weird way of saying that. Supposedly, the launch time is going to be June 8th, 2018, which is actually during Computex, which is a good indication that this could be real. And then we could also be seeing the Z390 chipset coming out during that time. And then also the aforementioned 8700K or 9700K eight core Coffee Lake chip. So we could be getting a whole big launch that's coming up to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the 8086 processor from Intel. Um, a lot of people have commented that this is just, you know, a vanity CPU. This is not gonna give you any better performance than an A700K. It's probably going to come with a higher price tag. 8700K is selling for $359. This will probably retail for closer to maybe 400 because it's a higher SKU, maybe 375 if Intel's feeling generous, but then that would also mean that the 9700K is like 450 if they price this one at 400. 
who knows what the actual price is going to be. There's tons of leaks and information that we may not necessarily have at this point. But June 8th during Computex seems to be an actual legitimate time for them to launch all of this stuff. Uh, I personally think this is super dope. I would love to pick up an 8086K. I don't have an 8700K, I wish I did, but this gives me an excuse to hold off just a little bit longer to pick up that vanity CPU because I, like, I'm sure there's gonna be a limited edition amount of runs of this uh, or maybe they won't be, who knows. Anyways, a lot of people have been flagging this as just a, 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 you know, a vanity CPU. It's nothing more than just a name. You're not getting a ton of improvements to actually justify buying it because the 8700K will likely overclock just as well as the CPU and you get nothing different. However, I am in the group, select group of people, I suppose, who think that this is super amazing and I absolutely buy one. But I wanna know what your thoughts are. Are you excited for this 8086 processor uh, from Intel? Or did you actually own one of the, original 8086. I know that we have plenty of people who watch this channel who might be of the age that they could have originally had that CPU in their systems. Uh, let me know if you did or let me know if you, your parents had one. That would, that would be cool too. Let me know either down in the community discord or in the link or in the comments down below. Uh, discord will be one of the links in the video description. And that's gonna wrap it up. This is a bit quicker than my normal tech news segment. So yes, that's why I said it was quick. I know it's over six minutes long, but that's not the point. This is my last video in the hotels while I'm in America. I'm getting ready to fly out tomorrow. So this is, this is it, guys. This is it. This is the end of an era of me traveling freaking everywhere and you guys getting to see all of the different areas behind hotels and all that kind of crap. Anyways. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Be sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related videos. I'm Brett with the UFT Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. A little burp there, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.